Hello and welcome to the Friday, May 10th, 2024 edition of the Santa Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from San Diego, California. We got a great diary today by Didi where yet again he is improving one of his tools. If you're analyzing a PDF, there may be multiple PDF streams present. The old tool PDF parser.py did allow you to extract individual streams, but well, if there are a lot of them, that's kind of tedious. So users asked for all of the PDF streams to be exported as at once. And that's exactly what uh, did he added in version 079 of PDF parser.py. Even better, the output is in JSON format that can then be post processed with other tools in Didier's famous uh, tool set. So you can decompress, uh, you can analyze the mime type of uh, different streams, and all of this, all by just piping JSON output from one tool into the next to further process the data. Nice examples here from Didi as part of the diary if you're interested in more details. And F5 published an update for its Next Central Manager product. Next is the name of a product series for F5, which is of the next generation of products. And Central Manager is the tool that you're using to administer these different products. The vulnerabilities were found by Eclipsium, and there are a total of five vulnerabilities, but only two of them received CVE numbers. These two vulnerabilities are SQL injection vulnerabilities. One of them actually requires LDAP to be enabled. The second one apparently doesn't. These SQL injection vulnerabilities uh, are explained in Eclipsium's uh, blog post, including a proof of concept that does retrieve the admin's password hash. The other vulnerabilities are less severe, which is why they may not have gotten a CVE number, like for example, a bcrypt hash that doesn't use a sufficient cost with call is a minor thing. The one thing that I'm actually a little bit concerned about, there is a vulnerability that allows an attacker to change the admin password without knowing the old password. However, the attacker needs to be authenticated as an admin. So maybe stealing a session ID or something like this could be then used to gain more persistent access by changing the administrator's password. Updates are available from F5, so check out that you have the latest version of the Next Central Manager if you already are using this product. And backup company Veeam did release updates for its Veeam service provider console 7 and 8. These updates fix a deserialization vulnerability that according to Veeam could be used to achieve remote code execution and apparently does not require authentication. The vulnerability does allow for the remote code execution on the Veeam service provider console server system. And Citrix ran into a little bit of an interesting issue with Xen Center, its hypervisor solution. Xen Center came with a version of PuTTY, and if you did select the connect to SSH console option, you were basically offered to download PuTTY and then install it from Xen Center directly. This made it a little bit easier, didn't require that people had to sort of find an SSH client in particular for Windows systems where historically they weren't sort of that readily available other than PuTTY. But recently PuTTY had a security vulnerability that would leak private keys. And Xen Center came with this vulnerable version. Now the tricky part here is that really a patch to Xen Center wouldn't really help users who 
already had the particular available version installed. So instead, they're actually going to remove PuTTY from Xen Center and are just asking people who already have PuTTY installed from Xen Center from the past versions to just directly update from PuTTY. So it seems a somewhat reasonable solution and probably better for people in particular, since you're usually dealing here with people that at least know how to run SSH, for them to go directly to the PuTTY website if they want to install that client. And even Windows these days comes with an SSH client that can be installed. So, so far that add-on being delivered as part of Xen Center is just asking for more problems down the road. Well, and that's it for today. So thanks again for listening. Do you like the podcast? Then please recommend it to your friends, enemies, pets, and your enemies' pets. Thanks and talk to you again on Monday. Bye.